Night of Champions talk is over with. We have one more thing to do for episode 149, and that is to break down everything that's happening with the Fantasy League. So, Peyton, hit us with the results of what's been going on lately. Well, we have hit the final week of Session 5 going into the pay-per-view Night of Champions. We are just trucking along through this season. We're about halfway through it. And at this point, the scores are sitting as such. Tony Mangos, Tony Stikes still reel in from their rough year so far, but they're still staying in the game. In last place, though, with 392 points. Steven Huego's team stoner. Has uh, been having a decent past couple of weeks, nothing too bad, but they're still sitting in fifth place with 534 points. Sean Walker's Chocolate Pain has had the absolute worst session that they have ever had uh, between losing Seth Rollins and a series of odd trades on the part of Sean Walker. They have only accomplished 22 points this session, and as such, they, are, they have fallen from second down to fourth place with 607 points. Miguel Leon's team best for business has been continuing going strong with the Usos being featured on TV more. And of course the continued dominance of Rusev, they are in third place with 667 points. Drew White's the Drew crew second place with 744 points, having a very good session so far. And my team next gen sitting in first place prettily between Paige still being Divas champion, Brock Lesnar being the world champion, and potentially Cesaro and Stardust could be looking to pick up some gold at this Sunday's pay-per-view. Who knows what the future may hold for there. Well, shut up, Drew. This is my time. Eat your freaking McDonald's. (laughs) I have 1,022 points, the first team to break into the four-digit range. This game is rigged. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think Tony Stike's going to get, uh, uh, what, 900 more points to get there pretty soon. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, Unless happens. there's a steroid scandal and every, one of mem- every member of Peyton's team gets released. <laughs> We're fucked. And then he's still probably in first place. <laughs> it's still more than half the year to go. Like, anything could happen. Don't get too scared. Anyway... Let's uh, continue on to the second portion of what we have here, which is to see if anyone wants to make any final substitutions before we go into Night of Champions. This is your last chance, guys, to change these teams up. And then after Night of Champions, the waiver wire will reset based on the order that we are in. So Tony would get first priority again. But for now, first priority lays with Miguel Leon. So Miguel, is there anything you're looking to do? No, I think I'm good. Uh, Rusev and the Usos have been giving me... um... A good run for my money. Uh, I've got Brie Bella on my team, I believe. And uh, I think Tony has Nikki Bella, so there's not much mm-hmm. I can do with that. Um, so I'm just going to stay with what I got. All right. That brings it to myself, who I am also going to stick with what I got at the moment. Next would be Wago. Anything you're interested in? Nope. All right. Moving along here. Mr. Drew, anything for you? Uh, I'm going to stick with my guns as well. All right, this is easy. And Mr. Tony, you're the last one here. Uh, this is going to continue to be easy because Sean's not here to switch it, everything up. I'm uh, <laughs> keeping my team the same. Wow, I think this is the first time we've had the final week going into a pay-per-view where we did not have like crazy amounts of trades going on. That's because Sean's not here. going on TV. Yeah, seriously. There's been no evolution from the last month to now. Literally. So, yeah. All right, well, then that's how it's going to stick. So we're certainly going to look forward to how these scores are going to change with the pay-per-view. That's always where the big points are. Everything is doubled. So for the latest scores and the latest things going on with the rosters, pay attention to KeepingKFabe.com or the official Keeping KFabe Facebook or Twitter pages. Okie dokie, everybody. We're going to keep those plugs rolling along here. So Miguel, hit us with yours. Uh, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. on blogtalkradio.com is the Untitled Movie Show. Uh, We recently did our uh, September news episode where we talked about the last two or three weeks of uh, movie news. And next week, we're going to be having a special guest uh, from the the, uh, show. I can't say who yet because I have not uh, finalized that. But if you're interested, go to twitter.com slash unmovieshow. Like us on Twitter – well, follow us on Twitter – and we'll keep you updated on um, any happenings going on. So check us out uh, Wednesday nights, 8 p.m., blogtalkradio.com, the Untitled Movie Show. Remember, everybody, the last time that uh, a special secret guest was announced, it ended up being Time, ca- time Cows. So. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I've been wanting to get time, Cal, but he said he'll only do the show if Drew White does it. Um, I got some connections. I can probably hook you up with Tow Truck Pig. <laughs> uh, Drew, your plugs. Uh, be generous and kind to your M- McDonald's employees as they make your, you your fast food. So, Drew Crew, as always, uh, fuck Tony's Tykes. And, yeah. Way go. September 28th on MegapowersRadio.com. You can see Addicted to Anime as we cover Code Geass in a full uh, depth review and give your opinion um, on that by phoning in uh, or using the chat. If you want to uh, keep connected with the Addicted to Anime page, go to Facebook.com slash Addicted to Anime Fans. And for all your MMA needs, you can go to UDMMA.com, Facebook.com slash UDMMA, and Twitter.com slash UDMMA. Hashtag that shit, UDMMA. On behalf of Sean Walker, who uh, was not able to join us tonight because he's asleep most likely, I'm sure he would tell you guys to check out Happy Pope uh, Gaming Productions on Facebook and Twitter and all that other kind of stuff. And YouTube. Spooky birds, spooky birds, <laughs> And Peyton, round us out with these plugs here. Hey, wrestling fans, join us every single Monday night following Raw on MegapowersRadio.com for the most interactive post-Raw experience available, our Raw post-show. We have a chat room, the phone line's open, and we always want to hear what you've got to say thinking about that show. However, more late- lately, we've just uh, not even been talking about Raw because Raw sucked, so we've been having some more free-form conversations, interacting a lot with you fans. So, you know, we had the mailbag on this show, but every week is a mailbag on the Raw Post Show on MegapowersRadio.com. Tune in, enjoy the fun. However, if you can't be there live, we are archived on SmartOutMoment.com, so you can find us on there nice and easily every single week. Check it out. Hi, Jeff. (laughs) Okie dokie, everybody. That'll do us in for episode 149 next week, 150. Woo! It's been a little long time coming, but we're there. Um, we are going to be doing a review of Night of Champions. We're going to try to think of something special to do, but I don't know if I really have any plans yet for that. So if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like us to do, then maybe, um, maybe we'll get around to doing it. I don't know. Leave those comments below. Tell us what you think would be interesting, and we'll see what we can do. And uh, stay tuned for the Night of Champions results coverage on SmartOutMovement.com. Naturally, check out those two Bleacher Report articles as well that are going to be coming immediately after the pay-per-view. And uh, I think that's pretty much it that we need to talk about. So on behalf of everybody on the panel this evening, thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been another Smart Out Moment, and we're being counted out. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right,